Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Agatardi2744 like here today to talk a little bit about iOS 6.1 because it was recently released. It was released earlier yesterday, and I'm going to go over some of the changes. Keep in mind, this isn't one of the bigger updates. This is actually one of the smaller updates. The next big update we're going to see is iOS 7.0. For more information about this update, visit in the description below at my website, iOSnova.com. But first things first, if you are new to iOS 6 and you don't know how to update right on your device, it's pretty simple. All you do is go into Settings and you go to general software update and then it'll bring you here where it says iOS 6.1 if you have not already downloaded that and if your device is capable to get iOS 6.1. It is a 90 megabyte download. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this and it says this update contains improvements and bug fixes. So again, it's not one of the bigger updates but it does have some noticeable changes in which I'll go over here in a bit. Alrighty guys, so the first feature I want to go ahead and go over is the fact that you can now purchase movie tickets from Fandango through Siri. So as many of you guys know, Fandango is a popular uh, movie application which allows you to purchase tickets for local movie theaters. Uh, I, I believe it works with my local movie theater. It'll probably work with a lot of yours if you live in the U.S. Uh, so let's go ahead and try this. This is for the U.S. only. Opening up Siri here on my 5th gen iPod Touch, which I did go ahead and decide to buy. Let's go ahead and say something here uh purchase movie tickets for the hobbit in chicago okay here's the hobbit an unexpected journey playing in chicago and as you can see right there it says you have to download the fandango app to buy the tickets uh, and here it shows the tickets where it's available in Chicago and you'll be able to purchase applications right in Siri. It's a very nice feature for those of you guys who really like the movies in the U.S. Alrighty guys, so another new feature in iOS 6.1, another little feature I should say, is advertising. Basically, it'll allow you to limit ad tracking and reset advertising identifier. Now, this is kind of nice. It's not very useful to the average consumer. You probably won't care about it much. But to be honest, all you do is go to the settings application, go to general, about, and towards the bottom of the about section, you're going to run into an advertising section. Go ahead and click on that and you will see this here. Basically, you'll have the options to limit the ad tracking and reset advertising identifier. Now basically Apple has the iAd service which mobile device developers use for iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad to basically display ads in their applications. And when they do this, basically they search things that are relevant. So if you really like Angry Birds and you constantly Google Angry Birds stuff like Angry Birds videos and stuff like that, uh, you might see advertisements through iAd in random applications dedicated to Angry Birds and that might annoy you. So if it does, one of the things you guys can do is reset advertising identifier which will basically clear the cache of your advertisements for iAd so it won't have the Angry Birds ads everywhere hopefully you're going to be able to clear that or reset the advertising identifier and you won't see those ads constantly popping up you'll see different ads uh, or you can limit ad tracking which will stop your device from tracking advertisements that you're interested in so if you search Angry Birds all the time uh, you won't get more ads dedicated to Angry Birds because you have limited the ad tracking. So one of the things I cannot show you, but it's a pretty important update for all you guys who live outside of the U.S. is that LTE support has been added to 36 additional iPhone carriers and 23 additional iPad carriers. Unfortunately, I'm not going to list all those carriers in the video, and I'm not even sure what all those carriers are because Apple, I didn't see a change log on Apple's website when I looked up this information, uh, so I'm not 100% sure on what those carriers are, but I know that they are outside of the U.S., so if an iPhone is not available or an iPad is not available through a carrier in your area it may be something you're interested in looking up two more things basically if you go into maps here you can click here and now you can report a problem simply by clicking this uh, you can report any problem as you can see my problem isn't listed or problems with satellite image there uh, Apple is interested in fixing their maps application and there's tons of problems with it and this is one of those ways that you can help Apple uh, improve their maps application so it can hopefully be uh, someday decent. Uh, let's go ahead and go here. Last thing is if you double tap the home button, as you can see the uh, play buttons and the fast forward buttons and the volume rocker here, uh, it's different. And I can't say I like it, but I can't say I don't care, or I can't say I do care. Uh, instead of the time showing up right above it in big text, as it usually is, because it would usually just drop it down and 
uh, fit the clock right there as usual. It's put it up in the status bar there, so it's a little bit smaller. Uh, it doesn't really affect me, but that's one of the little changes that are in iOS 6.1. Again, iOS 6.1 isn't really a big update. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. You guys view more information about iOS 6.1 on my website, iOSnova.com. Link is available in the description below. Thanks, everybody, for watching this. I get 2744.